Good morning, everybody. How's it going? I hope you're doing well. It is great to see you again. We're out here at the lake because we're doing some repeat swim bike breaks. Definitely more oriented for the short course athlete, but it's always good fun. It's going to be really painful, but it is great to see you again. And let's get going. Start at the beach, go two loops, around one, two, that third three, come back around, and then we're going to go back out again. Well, I was just wondering if you want to practice your teeth. Not like you don't need to practice your T2. April kicked your butt the other day. <laughs> Did you catch my helmet getting caught in my chain? Oh, boo. <laughs> boo. Excuses. <laughs> okay, wait, so what's the actual plan here? That is the plan. I wasn't really listening. I was more paying attention to the video. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of right left turns, that buoy, this buoy. My dyslexic mind does not work like that. You're going to we're, you're going to warm up. All right, go all the way down to the point and back for a nice warm Alrighty, so we're all warmed up. We're ready to go. And the plan is to do three swim bike bricks. So we're gonna do a 400 swim. That's gonna be pretty hard. And then we'll hop on the bike. We got a two and a half mile out and back. The out will be tough, and then the back will just be recovery. So it's gonna be brutal doing three of them. And uh, I gotta try and keep up with these draft legal folks because they are fast. But it's gonna be a good one. Coach is yelling at me in the background, but it's all good. Let's get going. All righty, here we go. <laughs> Well, that is a wrap on this morning's workout. Absolutely great way to start the day. But man, I am not in the shape for this short course training. It is so much fun. But again, I prefer the longer stuff. Keep the heart rate down a little bit. But uh, it is it is humbling to go with these guys. I mean, they are, they can push insane power. They are super quick and they just dust me in the transitions. I mean, I kid you not, I started the swim early and I had to cut the course on the bike just so I could keep up with them. These guys are stupid fast, but uh, it's a great morning. I'm feeling great. 
first real week back to training and I'm having a great time. Whenever I'm working out, doesn't matter what's going on in my life, I'm happy and that's what matters the most. I love it, I absolutely love this sport. I've said it so many times and I'll keep saying it, but uh, this is my thing, baby. Let's go. <laughs> so we're back home, it's been a few hours. Josh and I are absolutely exhausted. It was a good fun morning. I do still have a run to do, which I'm gonna do very soon. But in the meantime, we've been watching the WTS race, which is amazing. Love watching those guys, they're so fast. It like, we were doing that stuff this morning and then you watch it online and you're like, I will just never be at that level. Well, hopefully Josh will one day, cause that's his goal. But anyway, Josh is making pulled pork for tonight. I'm very excited, he made it once before and it was 10 out of 10, it was absolutely amazing. So we're doing that again. But then I'm gonna head out for my run, and it is hot outside, so I think I'm gonna hop in the ice bath afterwards. But oh, what a day. I'm exhausted, and we have another big day tomorrow. Aye, aye, aye. But let's take a look at this pulled pork, because it smells delicious. <laughs> Show us what we're working with, buddy. Whoa. That looks so good. That looks so good. I wish you could smell things through the camera, because this kitchen smells amazing right now. But Josh is one heck of a cook. Absolutely love pulled pork. So excited for dinner. But I have a run to do first. So for the run this afternoon, I've got four by five minute intervals at 6.30 pace. So nothing crazy, just a steady effort with 90 seconds rest in between. But it is hot out here and the heat is gonna make it a lot tougher. It says it's only like 85 degrees, but with the humidity here in Atlanta and the direct sunlight, it feels way hotter. But I'm excited to jump in the ice bath right afterwards. Like literally I'm gonna go straight in, I swear. <laughs> I'm gonna be so sweaty. But let's get this run going before I decide not to do it. <laughs> let's go. So I have a 15 minute warm up, and then it's straight into the main set. But as you can tell, I'm already dying. <laughs> on the spectrum of how my legs feel, we've got ready to run a marathon on one end, flat as a pancake on the other end, Iron below, flazer pancake. I actually feel like a slug. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I think I might have a nosebleed. Well, if I was looking for a sign to not do this run, that might just be it. <laughs> oh dear. I'm a little bit bloody now. I tell you, I, I, don't, I don't think I had that in me anyway. I was gonna try, believe me. But um, <laughs> I think I'm just gonna head home now. I don't think I should be running with a bloody nose. Oh boy. Yeah, that's not good. <laughs> change of plan I think the bleeding stopped so we're gonna get one more try oh, I'll feel so much better if I get this workout done <laughs> this time I actually am calling it I've got nothing left honestly I did what I could, but uh, heck, I'm just making excuses. Feels like I'm running with cinder blocks on my feet, honestly. So tough. And it's hard because tomorrow I have a three and a half hour really hilly ride. And then the next day I have an hour 45 long run. So maybe that's like in the back of my mind, like, oh, why push so hard today? It's just gonna hurt the next two days. But look, we're back to training. That's the most important thing. A little bit is better than nothing, but uh, every time I don't complete a workout, it hurts. It really does. But um, sometimes I just don't have it. Right, 20 minutes. Stopped.
<laughs> that was amazing. If you've never tried a cold tub before, you need to, at least once, just give it a try. I know there's tons of people online that say they do a million different things for you, and some of them might be true, some of them might not, but one thing I know for sure is that I feel alive. It just is so relaxing, and it, it really does help me recover, honestly. But this is the worst part now. Afterwards, you just get so cold, so I'm gonna go stand in the shower for probably 15 minutes just to warm myself back up. But just quickly, before I jump in the shower, I'm gonna make another video that I'll release in probably the next couple of days, just a short one, just like a life update. Why I've had to take three weeks off, kind of what's going on, there's many different reasons. There's a lot going on right now. I'm trying to juggle with everything, trying to keep myself focused, keep on track. But the most important part is that we're back to training, we're feeling great, I did lose a little bit of fitness, but it's not the end of the world. You know, I really do love making these videos. I know I've, it's been a rocky road, I haven't released as many as I should have, but I need to because I really do love doing it. Like even just standing here talking, I just, it makes me happy that I get to share what I'm going through with you guys and yeah, I hope you're doing well. But I'm going to go jump in the shower now because I am very cold. But then it's time for some pulled pork. Ah, oh, love it. <laughs> That's actually so good. Mmm. Well, that didn't last long. That was a very good dinner. And exactly what we need, because Josh has just sat down and mapped out our route for tomorrow, we have about a four and a half hour bike ride with over 10,000 feet of elevation gain. So it's gonna be a tough one. And our legs are already just so flat. But anyway, it was a good day today. We had fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it. That's going to do it for this one. And as always, be happy, be healthy, and be yourself. I love you all, and I will see you in the next one.